back on me, Elsa. Let's eat. Back with you. I guess you could say the main party. Sure, we'll go with the main party. Not bad, huh? Chief, it's delicious. Yeah, this ain't bad at all. Oh, come on. How can this girl's cooking be any good? What is that supposed to mean? But, Captain, you're stuffing your face. He's not even. Ah, shut up. He's not even. Don't disturb tasting a man it. when he's eating. Water. Sure. <laughs> of course, the woman must pour you the water. Quite a lot. Really? This is pretty typical for me back home. I have my no good brother to thank for that. He doesn't do a thing all day except sit around and read books. Yeah, that sounds totally useless. <laughs> Well, there's no one on this ship that has any of your skills. That's a shame. I guess that's what happens when you have an entirely male crew. You got that right. Normally, there's not even a hint of estrogen on this ship, so you can forget about having a good meal. Who usually does the cooking around here? The microwave. We take turns. Not that it matters, because the cooking's always bad. There is one person on board who does nothing but eat. Um, what's that? Water. He's the sure. he's the captain. He doesn't need to eat. Chief, um, can I have some water too? Oh, sorry. I hadn't noticed. I hadn't noticed. Oh, see, look. Now he's even depressed because the woman's not paying enough attention to his water needs. So weird. It's a Japanese culture. What are you gonna do? W women are still somewhat so, subservient. What are we gonna do now? Well, we certainly can't leave Cosmos to our own devices, can we? She's functioning independently. <sighs> yeah, what the hell's going on with Cosmos and the programming? We were supposed to get vacation time once we completed the startup experiment. We turned her over to the second division. <laughs> You're starting to sound a lot like the captain. There's no use crying over spilled milk, you know. There's no spilled milk here. The first thing we need to do is to contact headquarters and ask for instructions. So I guess we're stuck with these guys for a little longer. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I got a little suspicious, so I checked this ship's registry. Did you know that these guys are with the Kukai Foundation? Oh no! That place is bad news. Oh, it is bad news. I heard Hooray. a rumor that it's just crawling with mutants. I guess right. Hey, that's kind of a racist comment. Why? Listen, Alan. Sure, it's a well-known fact. The Kukai Foundation was established by the Milshin government as a specialized military group, but they only held that status until the completion of the post-war proceedings. Although they haven't gotten around to demilitarizing quite yet, they're being run like any other valid foundation nowadays. You know, as a matter of fact, their current director received a lot of praise for taking in and protecting victims in the days before the Species Preservation Act. He's really to be commended. So why is it racist? Now, what is his name? Gainan Kukai. Gainan Kukai. Oh, <laughs> Chaos. How could, how could you understand the conversation from behind the door, Chaos? What's up? Oh, I just dropped in to see if there was anything I could help out with. Oh, thanks. You could explain. We could use some help drying the dishes. How? Sure thing. How you handled the gnosis? That's really all I want from you, Chaos. Hmm. That's everything. Yep. Huh? What's this? Oh, that's for the commander. More. Come to think of it, he didn't join us for dinner, did he? Oh no, Commander Cherenkov, no, not the even captain. Called him. Oh well, I'll just heat it up and take it to him. Go, microwave powers. Well, how about we call it a day? Good idea. Oh. Did you forget something? No, but where did Cosmos go? Oh, Cosmos? She's being tuned in her service module down in the hangar. It'll probably take a few more hours. <laughs> oh, did you want to go down and talk to her? I'm sure she'd like that. She doesn't of like course. anything. Thanks. See you later. Bye. She doesn't have emotions. You, you didn't program that in, Xion, because you don't understand yours well enough to be able to program it into something else. But I do believe we are finally back in control of Xion. 
possibly we are hooray and we're also in charge of uh, the curry that she's got uh, I would normally do the uh, the database run around here but I will wait until the next session to do that there's probably a lot of stuff in the database that we need to go over once again how you doing Alan what's the matter aren't you going to take the curry to the commander it'll get cold if you don't hurry of course of course it will uh, first thing that we want to do is actually head down here because if we head down here yeah we're just gonna walk around with the curry for a bit this is, it's another point of the game where it's like they tell you to go straight one way but no there's a lot of other stuff that I need to take care of first we're gonna head down here because I believe if I talk to the robot he gives us the passport for the card game with a starter set. It's a great deal. You hardly ever come across these things nowadays. But don't worry about the price. Call it a freebie. And he gives us a card passport. We'll take a look at that. Uh, obviously, it leads us to the card game, but we'll go over the card game a little bit. Complete deck included. Nothing I can really do with it. But we also have the drill and the battle passport. Uh, I will, you know, I'll show these all off when we get to it. Um, but we need a, a special save point for that. And we haven't come across one yet, to be honest. So, looks like I ate a bit too much. It's not every day you get to eat curry that bad. Thanks. I kind of made it, and I have more right in front of me. Like, if I was him, I'd just, like, shove this right into his face. But look how steaming hot the curry is. It'll stay like that, too, this whole time. So we got the, bat, uh, the card passport here as well. Now, I think I just want to go straight north. Yeah, north North is exactly where I want to go. And we can just run through the walls. Sweet. There are a couple specific areas where we need to go to on this ship before we actually deliver the curry. I, I, why before? I don't know. And that's the reason why we need to stand on a couple specific areas because we're back to doing emails again everybody's favorite part of the game emails uh, this part is actually quite important uh, the new version of the environmental simulator uh, the EVS calculates numerical values for the observed environment and reproduces of imaginary maps uh, the following maps are already available, the Cosmos Simulator, the Woglinde, and the Asteroid Pleroma. So where we were before was an asteroid known as Pleroma, with a temple in it. Kind of weird. Uh, the EVS will be saved when this email is sent. It will be possible to use the EVS Simulator. After this, we have to go through the UMN screen to go to the EVS. Uh, it is necessary to connect the connection gear to the plate in order to do so. Please connect your character to the EVS plate. That is what the special save point that I've been talking about looks like. And that's how we can use all the passports and stuff. I think you need to be at that particular kind of save point in order to use any of the passports. But it could just be the EVS. Uh, I've always just found one of these to do the, the passports and use them there anyway. So I could be wrong. I'll, I'll test it later. I'll test it. Uh, yes, we can now use it. And of course, Bunny wants to talk about it. Him and his twirling eyes. The EVS is very handy. You can revisit places you've been to before. Yeah, it's possible to get items you forgot by using the EVS too. This is the part that confuses the hell out of me. So I'm all with you when we're doing like a virtual reality of places that I've already been, right? Okay, fine, sure. You guys have the technology for that. How is it that I can actually pick up items in this little virtual reality thing and actually get that actual item? I've never understood that, and I don't think the game tries to explain it. I don't know, they have a replicator or some shit. But that's how it works. This is, this is the mechanic for going back to old dungeons. That's right. Apparently, there are some items that are beneficial to collect. You don't say. Some items are good. Thank you. Which means that it's better to take a roundabout way around the map. It's good to explore the surrounding area when you have a destination in mind. Would it be nice to have the time to take the scenic route? That would be a question. That is not a question mark at the end there. 
So yes, you're always gonna want to take the scenic route. I've been doing that throughout anyway. I yeah, I think yeah, it already downloaded it. I don't need to actually do that. But there you go, more emails. That one is very important though. And I think it's here. It is here. There's the next email. Read this email. This one is not necessarily important. It's not required, but I would say it's good. This is a dividend from our investment. Dividend means they gave us something. Uh, because I invested, uh, I invested in Vector, they should have given me something that they produce. Is it actually going to say here? Um, none of this looks that interesting to me. Right, this is all technical jargon about their research and all that kind of stuff. I'm not really seeing anything that good. Yes, of course, my investment did everything. But there we go, we do get ether pack S's. We got five of them for investing in Vector. Vector is still, in my opinion, the best uh, company for you to invest in, and I would suggest that, even if ether packs aren't necessarily your thing. The market price of ether packs has also been reduced approximately 10% across the board. Uh, so, very nice. If you had invested in, why do I? Invested. I keep on seeing vector. I think that's my problem. There we go. So there, by downloading it, we have obtained our ether pack S's. If you had invested in Hasegawa, you would get five medkit S's. And if you invested in Dawson, you would have gotten five revives. Once again, vector is still the best even though you might not say uh, ether pack S's are the best of those items. I would still say that vector is the way that you want to go. Uh, we could head back through here. I thought there was a door there and I wasn't going to go, but the game decided differently. This leads back to the kitchen, I believe. Yes, it does. See, like, there's a door on this side, but not a door on the other side. And that That's confusing game. Why would you do that to me? But that is one more email. I think that's number 17 for us. Uh, if you are counting along. Let's head down here into the first room. There are multiple rooms here. So let's just head into the first one. And I believe there is not anybody here, but I want to look. Uh, no. There is nobody here. And nothing to do either. I don't think I could blow up anything even if I wanted to. Uh, because I got the curry, so it's kind of hard to use the vaporizer plug-in when you got the curry on your hand. Now, we will continue on. If the game will let me, thank you. Here's the middle point of this area. Can I actually use these room missions? There's one of them that I could use. I swear there was one of them that I could use. And the elevator. Uh, but what we want to do right now is head in here. Because I want to fully explore this place, too. Even though there's an entire... Well, there isn't a possibility that there's nothing in here, too. But I want to explore it just for m good measure, I guess you can say. It doesn't look like there is anything. Oh, there's a dude! How you doing, dude? seem quite worn out. Don't push yourself too hard. It's bad for your health. How about getting some good rest? I don't need to just yet. We're all fully healed. It's too bad. Don't push yourself too hard. Shion didn't get the bonus from the, the last f that last fight, did she? Because that would be awesome. No. But I did get enough to level up Lightning Blast. So let's level that up all the way. And then I'll probably start working on the weights after that because uh, what weight does, as I've gone over before, is that it will lower the wait time between you using a tech attack and your next turn, which is very useful if you're using it every turn like I am. So I'll try to do that and then we can work on upgrading the actual damage that it does later. So let's head out of the second room now that we know where we can rest. Like I said, I thought there was one... 
No, I, I don't, maybe the dispensers don't work. I'm just thinking of something else. The, the vending machines. So, here we find a crossroads. We can head to the bridge. We can go west. This is, a, this is the airlock. I don't think they'll let me out. You crazy opening this hatch during fly is strictly prohibited, the great Matthews. He calls himself great, too. Am I the only one that sees a little bit of mal in him? I could be the only one. Here we do have a, yet another save point. I don't necessarily need to use it, but what the hell is this thing? It's silver, but it's a save point. It is not a save point at all. It is a shop. And here we can get all the stuff well, that we would normally get at a basic shop. Uh, med kits, ether packs, revives, cure-alls, all status clears. I will probably purchase some of these before we head out, uh, but I don't think we'll be doing that anytime soon. Antidotes, neurostims, these clear psych statuses. They're basically two cures for status effects. There's psych and there's body, I think it's called. Physical. Yeah, fizz. Fizz status clear instead of psych status clear, maybe. Uh, escape packs, which I have a ton of and I will probably never use, and biospheres. And we also have. I don't. Huh. Are they. Would they tell us if it was an upgrade? They don't tell us if it was an upgrade. So. Oh, I'll, have to, I'll have to look to see what I need and I'll purchase these later. Here's some armor. Uh, Metalware and fiber suits are both for Xion. Uh, the D unit V2 is, of course, for Cosmos. I'll probably have to purchase one of those. Helmets are for everybody. I probably won't be purchasing too many of those. Protectors, spirit pendants, prevents a ether attack down. All I can think of is like star pendants that usually present, that prevent poison, but this is spirit pendant, which is different. And wait, there was something else? Uh, cards. I'm. I'll probably put that off for a little bit. I don't think there's really any point of doing that necessarily sooner rather than later. I uh, can't do anything with that. So, looks like we are almost fully explored here. Let's just head into the bridge and hopefully we can find somebody in there. Is there anybody in there? Wait, did I forget something? Ah, crap, I think I forgot something. I think there was actually something in the south room, if I could go there. Like I said, we're going to have this curry for a while. It it seems kind of absurd how long we have this, but maybe it was in the south room here? Did I forget something? I swore there was nothing here. But maybe there is. I don't know. This this place gets to me sometimes. Is there is there a treasure chest in one of these? There's a treasure chest here somewhere, and I thought I hate when I don't know where it is, and I'm like I know vaguely that it's around here somewhere, but not specifics. So I will be right back after I remember where this chest is that I'm looking for. Here it is, randomly in the middle of the couch, which I found by just pressing, you know, well, mashing the button until I found something. The disarm key! Now, let's take a look at this disarm key, since I pretty much went out of my way in order to find it. Never did use those ether or skill upgrades. Didn't really need to. Ah! No! This way. This arm key is located in the key items. A key card which contains the slide deck's disarm code. Wonder what that could mean. We'll have to find out eventually. <laughs> so let's just get out of here. Um, we don't need to actually head for the bridge. I will go there just, just to check things out. Eventually, but for now, I think... We just need to head down the elevator. So, let's head down the elevator. Yes! Basement number one it is! Because we have more exploring of the ship to do. And I think, actually, 
we could use the vaporizer plug-in, but for whatever reason, she um, does, doesn't want to just yet. <laughs> 